Maptitude for Redistricting works the way you work, has the features you need, is easy to learn and use, and is 100% reliable. This video demonstrates the steps to creating a redistricting plan, verifying the plan integrity, printing a district map, and creating reports about the plan. The Plan Manager serves as your redistricting control center. Use it to organize plans, create any number of plan types, and save them as plan templates. When you create a plan in Maptitude for Redistricting, you'll designate a base layer for your plan, the population or other field to use to balance the districts, the number of districts, and you'll compute the ideal value for each district. You can include any number of data fields in the same plan. And, if necessary, you can set the correct denominator for any summary fields. For example, to get the correct percentages for the age 18 plus fields, you would want to divide by the 18 plus voting age population. Once you have specified the plan settings, you are ready to start redistricting. At the top of the screen is the district's data view containing information about the control field and summary fields for each district. Since I have not yet created any districts, the data view has only one row that lists the values for the unassigned features. The redistricting toolbox contains the tools that you will use to add and modify districts. And the pending changes data view displays the changes to the control and summary fields as you select areas with the tools in the redistricting toolbox. So, for example, I could start creating a new district by choosing New District as the target, and then use the selection layer to select the base layer census block features that I want to be in the new district. The pending changes data view shows the changes to the districts as you choose geographic features. So, for example, here is the population of my district so far, and the percentage deviation from the ideal value. Continue to add features until the ideal value is reached. When you get close, you may want to zoom in and add features at a smaller geographic level, such as voting districts, tracks, block groups, or even individual blocks. Once you have selected the features to be added to the target district, you save the changes to create the district. Notice that the map shows the boundary of the new district, and the district's data view now shows the values for all of the summary fields for that new district. Create additional new districts by choosing New District as the target, choosing Unassigned Blocks as the source, and using the selection tools to select the features to add until your plan is complete. Then, have Maptitude for Redistricting check for unassigned areas and non-contiguous areas. For example, by choosing Redistricting, Plan Integrity, Find Unassigned Areas, Maptitude for Redistricting will find any unassigned areas and let you zoom to problem areas. These blocks need to be assigned to a district, so I'll choose the target district that these blocks should belong to, select them, and save the changes. And now you can see that if I rerun the test, there are no longer any unassigned areas. I can also run a test for non-contiguous areas. You can see that this portion of District 8 is not contiguous with the rest of the district, so I will move it to District 7. And now there are no longer any non-contiguous districts. Once your plan is complete, you can create layouts of the districts that you can print on any installed printer. You can also create many reports about the plan, such as population summaries, measures of compactness, 
and partisan competitiveness reports. For example, here is a population summary report from my districts. And here are some measures of compactness report for my districts. To learn more about Maptitude for redistricting, please visit www.redistricting.com or www.caliper.com or contact Caliper Sales at 617-527-4700.